Cool, we are officially all saved up now, so I'm just gonna stick this ink ribbon back in the box, and, um, ammo-wise, we're, we're not in a great position here. We've only got one round left in the shotgun, but I'm hoping that anything we come up against, uh, will be an insta-kill headshot, so I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, because the pistol ain't all that effective, and I think I can hear some customers. Here we go. Ah, oh, crap, he didn't go down. Oh, no, I shouldn't have turned my back on him. Oh, I could have used my defensive items on him if I was still facing him, but, uh... Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to be chowing down on some of them herbs. And thankfully, yeah, there's a bunch of herbs around here, so... Definitely gonna be picking these up. And I've got another red in here that I can combine to get more, uh, super effective herby goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. It's th this corridor up here is, is pretty narrow, so it... Allows any zombies brushing past you to really get a good hold. But thankfully... I've got quite a lot of defensive items on my person. This is... I'm rapidly losing all of these defensive items, but hey, that's what we've got them for. This is the second ammo disc. Second out of three, and this door here, yeah, is still locked. I need to do a little bit of faffery in order to get that working. Jeez, I am having a lot of close calls here. But we're gonna get down here and, uh... Whew, do a little bit of door unlocking. I forgot that zombies could use stairs, to be perfectly honest. Mental note for later. But the lab complex in general is actually really compact. It's uh, actually quite small in the grand scale of things compared to all the other sections of Resident Evil, which, you know, isn't too bad. It means that there isn't much long backtracking tracking to be done here. Ooh, let's see what we got in the first aid box. I'm hoping for herbs. That's always the best case scenario when it comes to first aid boxes. And what do we got? Herbs, fantastic. So we are now officially swimming in herbs. Nothing can stop us now. And uh, all I really need to do is find some nice shiny ammunition for any, any of my other weapons other than the handgun. Because we're, we're past the point of the handgun being useful here. Ah, cool. So this is the x-ray room. And there's a few of these littered around. X-ray slides. I think there's actually, is it one or two kicking around? There's two. And there's these spare spaces at the back that you need to pop them up in. And it's a, a pretty interesting little puzzle. You gotta make sure that all of these uh, x-rays are in alphabetical order by name. And you gotta take note of all the names for the different parts of the organs inside here. Because for some reason, when you, uh, when, when you light up the slides properly, when you flick a switch at the back of the room, the highlighted areas of the organs give you a password for a computer, which is so ass-backwards, I, I just can't even begin to, to figure out why someone would come up with a puzzle like this in this kind of work environment. But I'm pretty sure these are all in full alphabetical order, so we're going to flip the switch. Because if you don't have it in alphabetical order, you'll get the code wrong in some cases. So that is the colon, that's the esophagus, that's the liver, and what's the other one? The lungs. So... C-E-L-L -L should be the code. We're going to keep a mental note of that, yeah. C-E-L-L. -L. And you've got to do them in order. The last two you can interchange, but the ones that you picked up are the only ones you can swap around, so yeah. Make sure you keep that in mind. This is important as well, god damn it. So this is a letter to Ada, who you may know from Resident Evil 2, I think is, is her earliest appearance? I think it is, I can never be sure. But this is a letter to Ada, there's a researcher from the labs here who knows he's gonna die. Uh, all sorts of really obvious information, there's a self-destruct. Uh, blah 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 blah. There's a terminal in the security room, you can log in using my name and your name as the password. So that is really bad password security right there, Umbrella. No wonder everything went to crap. So, yeah. John and Ada. So we gotta remember the, the, the code for the x-rays and John and Ada. Now first time around, I've got to tell you, my, my memory's not really that good to begin with. So, uh, I, I ended up having to actually write this down, but I've, I've gone over it so many times now that it's kind of ingrained in my memory pathways up here. But yeah, until we get those passwords popped into a computer terminal, these doors will remain locked. And this one at the back here, this is actually where the, the MO discs come into play. So, there's three MO discs, there's three red lights, and there's three readers littered around this lab, so we've got to get to each one of those in order to unlock the levers and get the, the full good ending. 
But now, I'm going to take care of a zombie. Because my whole strategy here is I pick a route through the labs. There's a zombie in one direction and there's a zombie here in this really narrow pathway as well. And I, I find it's best to just pick one guy, knock him out, worry about him turning crimson later, and, and then just sticking to this one pathway. Because uh, firstly, it saves on ammo and it saves on crimson head encounters. Because I don't have any kerosene. It's, it's, it's too much of a faff. Ooh, those are magnum rounds. Oh, how do I get to them? The camera angle screw me around. Okay, let's let's try that again. Let's see if we can see it. The shiny right in the bottom left. Okay. Let's see if we can pick them up. No, that is a corpse. We don't want the corpse chill. Oh, there we go. Precious, precious magnum rounds. And that will surely be extremely useful a little later on. But this right here is the computer terminal. This is where we're going to pop in our login and password. So it should be John for the login. Yep, and then it's Ada for the password, A-D-A. And that will give us access to some door unlocking mechanisms here. But we're also going to need to put in an extra password, so we need to put in colon, esophagus, lung and liver, or liver and lung, whatever way we're around, first letter of each. And that gives us full access to the door systems. There we go, so that's that unlocked. And you need to make sure you go to B3F, to unlock the other door as well because they don't all just unlock automatically but yeah much quicker when you know what you're doing much quicker when you've taken notes or, or just played it so many times that you you have to remember but this note right here this note is all about how umbrella discovered crimson heads and it's hilarious when you consider how scientifically inept Umbrella are. So they discovered that eventually zombies transform into agile and aggressive crimson heads. They lost four researchers. It was a bloodbath. That's where they got their nickname from. And uh, they couldn't figure out how to deal with it. They didn't want to kill it. So they decided to freeze it and stick it in the basement of the backyard cemetery. This is why there was a bleeding coffin in the backyard. This is why we can't have nice things. Because Umbrella can't follow biohazardous containment procedure. We can't carry any more bugger. Anyway, why, why couldn't they have frozen it like these these goons here? Wouldn't have that been just ever so slightly easier? Or did they just want to, you know, keep it as far away from everyone else as possible? That's, that's probably the case too, but still doesn't excuse their idiocy. But thankfully, we don't have to re-enter that room ever again. We, we've done everything we need to do there. And now we can check out some of the rooms that we've unlocked. So... The, the first door by the levers that I checked through here should be ready for us to, to explore now. And I'm pretty sure this is where we'll find our first MO disc reader, so we'll be able to get rid of our, our MO disc in the inventory. And then we'll just have to putter around and, and discover the rest, I guess. Oh, we got a customer. Oh, 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 that was blissfully easy. That was a particularly pungent zombie. Yeah, so it turns out that if a zombie isn't knocked out, or uh, incapacitated, it can't transform into a crimson. But this is our MO disc reader. And we're going to plunk our disc straight in. And there we go. Green light. So uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All you need to do is just remember to come back to those levers and, and un unlock the big door, really. And this right here is... Um, this basically explains that everything that happened on this site wasn't strictly on purpose. So uh, there was a T-virus outbreak, uh, a lot of researchers were infected. <laughs> they, were, they were trying to curb it. Uh, the security team was completely eradicated. Uh, they were worried about the media finding out. And there was a load of specimens running loose. So um, <laughs> they still decreed this a massive success, but they wanted to keep it from the public. So they decided... They were going to murder all of stars. Because naturally, that, that solves everything, apparently. But anyway, this right here is the nitro refuel station. This is going to be fairly important later on when we come back with the, the refuel capsule. And uh, we're going to have to avoid blowing ourselves up. It basically means we can't run at all while we're holding the capsule. So that's going to be fun later on. And I've got space... Four. Why am I why am I swapping my defensive items? I'm just screwing around so much with my friggin' buttons here. But we're gonna pick up the slide filter and you know sod it. We're gonna also pick up 
the incendiary shells, because I made a bit of creative room in my inventory by shoving the rest of my handgun ammo back into my handgun. And... I think from here, it's probably best to head back up the stairs, but I'm just gonna pull this lever for shits and giggles. Doesn't really do anything at this point until you can pull all three, but, you know, I, I like to prepare. I like to be ahead of the game, you see. But yeah, fingers crossed, when it comes time to, to bring the nitro canister around to the refuel station, we, we, we don't blow ourselves up. That would be a bad end. A very bad end, indeed. Um, we've got another unlocked room up these stairs. Hopefully we don't have to deal with any stair zombies. Can't see any so far, but I know they're up here. I'm gonna be t Oh no, they're okay, they're pretty far away, apart from that guy. But no, no, he didn't make a lunge for us, that's cool. That's cool by me. <laughs> and this room, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have any enemies in it, but it does have a few goodies. So, there's a first aid spray though, which we're not gonna touch. Because, uh, again, first aid sprays are for losers. And this is where the slide filter goes. And this is where you learn what the names of the, the different enemy types are here. So the dogs are known as Cerberus, the big ass shark was Neptune. And the hunters are, are called hunters, I've only ever known them as hunters. And Tyrant, we haven't met Tyrant yet, but if you're familiar with Resident Evil, you'll know. And look, that guy on the right suspiciously looks like Wesker, doesn't he? So this right here, 8462, is the code that we need which we can only discover by having the slide filter on that projector there. And conveniently, this is where we punch that code in. And this should give us access to the, the lab key? Pretty sure it's the lab key, which is cunningly concealed behind this slidey door. Ooh, we've also got an ammo disc around here somewhere as well. But I think... No, we're gonna leave the in inventory space open for now, because I'm sure there's other stuff around here that we could use more. And, oh, speak of the devil, shotgun shells, baby, and we can put them straight into our assault shotgun. I'm always happy to see shotgun shells. And we've got the lab key. Awesome. And this will give us access to the rest of the rooms that haven't already been unlocked. And this, this right here, basically, do you want to watch Kenneth die? I'm not really giving you much choice on the matter here, but you remember Kenneth, right? He was the first STARS member that we came across in the mansion. You know, uh, chomped to death by our first zombie encounter, but, um... Yeah, that, that's what this is. You get absolutely nothing, by the way, for viewing that video, other than some minor psychological scars. Shall we watch it again? No. <laughs> I think once is enough, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, this is a great big audio-video recording suite that... Serves no purpose other than to show you a snuff film, really, and oh boy, that is, uh, a fairly squeezed inventory. We're, we're gonna have to dump a few things before we can come back and pick up the ammo disc. So I think we're gonna have to pay a visit back to the magic inventory box and dodge a bunch of zombies while we're at it. These guys are pretty slow. We can, we can dodge them. Oh, and, uh, one of them has managed to go down the stairs again, so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that on the way back. But yeah, the lab section, as with most other sections in Resident Evil, to be honest, are, are pretty straightforward as long as you know what you're doing and you can wrap your head around inventory management. So uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to swap out a few non-critical things, let's say, like the handgun. And we're going to bring in a few more entertaining things, like... Where's, where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's up here somewhere. Hey, there we are. My good friend, the revolver. And the grenade launcher. We're gonna stick some well-needed rounds into those well greased chambers. Same goes for the grenade launcher. And we are we are pretty much ready to rock and roll. Oh wait, no, we're forgetting something. Something that we shouldn't leave home without. That's the ammo disc. We're gonna need this in our inventory to prevent any unnecessary backtracking. Right. All we need is a shotgun. And we're ready. 